final question. Now you've all been given the question before the show. I'll read the question again and you'll each have a chance to answer. Cook Islands, we're going to start with you. Cook Islands, what is the most important issue your generation is facing? Well, mental health is of a major concern. We're finding that people are experiencing some of the highest levels of anxiety, stress, depression, low self-esteem than any generation before us. And there are a multitude of factors that are playing into it. Uh, education costs, costs of living, uh, job opportunities. And with such a huge reliance on social media, we're seeing its effects on self-image, this need to achieve physical perfectionism, uh, perceived wealth. But most importantly, within such an overworked and overstressed uh, generation, people are failing to practice self-care and they're neglecting to look after themselves. So this could be anything from physical exercise, spending time with your family, uh, eating healthy, getting enough sleep. It's different for everybody. But I believe that it's important that amidst our busy lives to just stop, take the time to look after our mental health because beyond our careers and beyond our finances, it's essentially our health and our happiness that's most important. I think all it's about uh, education and uh, job opportunities. The job market is very tight now. One of the main reasons is that uh, the colleges and uh, universities um, are highly or uh, quite um, costly. So our generation, um, they graduate and don't have the opportunity to have th the job. So I think this is the most and uh, the most reason and the most issue in our society now for the new generation and young uh, students. Something that I have noticed, especially in my country and online, is a general lack of empathy and compassion towards other people. Earlier this year, I had received a phone call that was quite hard for me to take. Um, my best friend was on the phone standing on the ledge of a bridge and she was considering to commit suicide. And the reason she was there was relentless cyberbullying that she had experienced. And it's, I think that people don't realize that when they're talking to a screen that there's a person on the other side that has their own issues and life um, and problems that they're dealing with. Um, my friend has suffered with this uh, for years um, and then she would get messages from people online telling her to kill herself all the time. And I think that we need to remember the golden rule that we were taught in elementary school and that's to treat others the way that you wish to be treated. And that doesn't just apply to face-to-face -face interactions, that applies online as well. And I think that something we need to remember is that if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. Follow your mother's advice that you were taught when you were very little. And I feel as if there's so many kids running around this big that understands that concept way better than most adults. And that's something that really needs to change in our world. For me, that issue our generation uh, facing is social professional um, integration. For example, in the world, the statistic shows that 71 million of young uh, have not a job. And I think we can help these young people. In my opinion, is it ecology and the environment? We live in a consumer society and very fast. All of this has an influencer uh, on the environment, but we have to protect it uh, for the next generation. We all have to behave as nature friendly. Well, I think all the girls are, are right, but uh, I really think that the main problem is the loss of values and principles 
I think we we are all like losing the value of family. Uh, families now uh, these days are separate. Um, education as well. Education is like in schools and everything. They don't teach you uh, moral and ethic and uh, the principle, the most important values. Um, I really think we need to change that because that's affecting our world, Com contamination, um, all the problems you can mention uh, begin from there. I think we, we all need to, to change our lifestyle, we, we need to uh, understand what's important in life, what really matters in life and uh, fight for, for a better world, fight uh, to get the families together uh, and get back to, to where we were or what we were before. Thank you very much, Bolivia. And thank you to everyone. Um, excellent answers. I know when we talk about issues, it does sort of, you know, bring the mood to a different uh, place. But thank you for sharing your opinions on, on this question. You've heard their video presentations. They've answered the final question. And now it's time for you to decide which one of them moves on to round two. And you can do so by one of four ways. And there are four ways to vote. You can like the contestants' official Miss World Facebook pages, like their content on Mobstar, vote for them on the Miss World website, or in China on Model Power Live. And the contestant with the most votes will move on to round number two. We're here at the Mangrove Tree Resort World in Sanya Bay, China. Thank you very much <laughs> and goodbye. Thank you.